Okay, um, hi there. I'm gonna attempt to install a official Land Rover um, dash cam uh, system into a Range Rover Sport. Uh, this is a 2017 model, so the L494. I imagine this should be the same for the others. I've, I've done some research, looked online, there's a couple of differences. For example, in my one, uh, to remove a trim, a video I saw online was showing using a, um, a torque screwdriver um you know the little star type of um ones and i've just opened it up to have a look and it's actually here on my one it's uh sockets i need to get so i need to pop out one and get my socket set which i didn't bring with me um i have already started but i just thought let's do this video so hopefully you can learn uh, as i go along as well um so i've, I've already looked online and realized some people made Oh, some mistakes and some recommendations one for example is not to fit the camera too close to the mirror uh, because um, it's got a wide angle and otherwise you're going to see some of the mirror so before I actually secure it my plan is to test it before I actually use adhesive uh, and stick it on first um, so that should be straightforward enough um, I have started like I said I mean here's the box it's, uh, uh, I believe it will fit on different Land Rover models. Um, of, uh, it's not just for the Range Rover Sport, but like the Discovery and the Vogue, for example. Um, uh, even Jaguar. It, it looks exactly the same even for the Jaguar. Um, but uh, also for the principle is the same how to install it. Uh, and what I've done, I've started already to remove the top console. All, all the instructions I managed to find online through their Land Rover website. I've printed it all off just so I don't have to um, keep a look at my phone um, and go through the step by step. So I'm going to follow these steps step by step um, and then hopefully help you guys um, do it yourself as well. I mean, I know on the back when you do the rear camera, there's a I am going to drill uh, a 15mm hole, which I recommend in order to form for my type of door. Uh, in order to go through the, um, uh, the trim and, and fit it properly with the grommet. Uh, the, on the manual, just so you don't get confused, there are four rear door models. I'll, I'll maybe go through that again later. But there's four, uh, got me confused at the beginning, type A, type B, type C, type D. And uh, so just check which car door you have. I think A was like the discovery type. This one for the uh, L494 is B. Um, and what confused me was type D is also for the L494, but that's for the newer model, uh, for 2018 plus. Um, um, uh, the, so yeah, uh, it's a case of, um, I, I've figured that out after to make sure if you've got the uh, uh, 2017 sort of uh, the first version of the L494, then it's type B. Um, if not, it's type D if you've got the later one by, by the looks of it. Anyway, um, Enough of me wrapping on for the moment. I'm going to try and video edit this together to post later on YouTube and uh, um, and uh, yeah, show you what we're doing. Um, I have, like I said, already started. Um, I've lowered the centre console trim, which is step one. Uh, pretty straightforward using a, a, a little fancy tool um, to leave it out. What I found uh, from experience in the past and other cars which I've done uh, it is actually take it out from the top end um, here. You don't need to do it from the sides. I, I found it quite easy. As long as you get this bit out, the rest of it just seems to follow quite nicely. So when this was in, and obviously to put it back in, it can reverse. Um, but that should just pop out that way uh, without having to damage your trim with a sort of nice little special sort of trim tool that I've got somewhere. Uh, put it down. Typical lost it and then this is a step i was just starting to push the the camera bit end first i, I took the wing off there's, there's another part that goes on here but to make it smaller and easier to, to go through the, the top uh, i've taken it off so what i'll do now i'm going to change the camera angle turn it around uh, while i've done the selfie mode so i can then continue showing you what my plan is right okay here we go um right so yeah here we go i've got my, the manual here and um, first step here is showing to put that part of the camera in the shoe. If you can look on here, it's got like the, the uh, like a trim on here, which let's see if I can get the uh, there you go, bear with me. Okay. There you go. So you've got this, but attached to this, you have this plate as well. This is the plate by, by what I've gathered. You put the adhesive on the back here, which will eventually uh, 
on here um, and then that just slides into it but uh, in order to put that through uh, a hole with a gap there if you can see that light that's where it slides in through um, I thought I'd take the just trim this trim off so this bit you just lift so that would normally just slide, slide on there and just lift lift that bit up and then slide that out so uh, I can't really do this with one hand um, but you get the idea so that would normally would be on there lift that bit up and back and slide out um, it actually wasn't already connected in, in the box but it's showing it connected here but that's the idea so um, in here like I said you can, you can actually obviously if you've got smaller hands maybe if you've got a, a kid who can help you can then get this harness and just, just literally just get it through there. I'm going to put the phone down a minute and push it through there and hopefully it's going to come out the other side. So, uh, and I'll uh, get that done. Okay, I managed to do it. So, there we go. Uh, a little mug, uh, bugger, I must admit. Getting your fingers in here, quite simple. And it's back to just a uh, uh, but yeah, not really tricky. It's just slippery because this is quite smooth and you can't really get a grip on it uh in order to push it through but once it's through that's it i just got it coming out at this end uh so yeah uh, that's that bit now wiring wise i got a feeling it needs to come through that one so basically that will go through there and just replicates and then that will go in in there so uh again i'll do that um uh, a little clip, I would imagine, and uh, I'll work this out and then get back to you and explain. Yes, there you go. I can actually feel it pushing in there. Can you do this one hand? Maybe push that in. No, nope. uh, yeah, it, it, I can feel the in, in just inside there. There's a clip that you can push down, and then, there you go. Bingo, you can slide that. Look, it's so easy, you can do it one handed. Uh, so this. I imagine we'll go into that end, the female to male. Are we allowed to say that these day and age? All those woke uh, people out there, snowflake size, I said male, female. But it's like I'm old school, show my age, and you're not going to teach it old dog new tricks. So yeah, there you go, stick that in, because we still do that this day and age. I'm quite sure uh, yeah, all these woke people and snowflakes uh know what goes in and out there you go you shouldn't be offended right <laughs> um uh right there we go bingo very simple look so simple i'm doing it one-handed rather than pausing the video to uh, edit there you go bingo oh my god that's it so that bit's done voila that's probably the easy bit um now to get this all the way around the car I and mean, uh, let me show you obviously in the pictures uh, you have to go uh da -da -da. there we go yeah so along the top down uh, the trim there the uh, the pillar which i will show you in a minute i had to take that off i've watched another video uh here funny enough and what the another video showed me was you have to click this off and in here depending on getting on your model it should have in this case, I've got a, um, a bolt in there, which I need to get my socket set. But in another the video I saw, they did not have that. They had a uh, torque set, you know, a little star screw, which you undone. So um, depending on your model, your car, um, that may vary. Just bear that in mind. Don't panic. But yeah, um, I'll show you how to take this off. Apparently, just unscrew that, and then this just clips up and then out. It's as simple as that. And when you put it back in, obviously, I'm going to the reverse. I will test that theory. Um, when I get my socket set so to get that then obviously it's going to go down all the way down all the way along the floors I've had the floor panels off before because I've put um, illuminated uh, trims in um, and that's another video you can find online not from me though uh, a, a, a very good company out there called Power Sport UK I want to give them a nod because they've been uh, they supplied me with a few things not these but their videos have been very helpful and so it's only deserved that they get the credit and um they did the investigation on one Range Rover they, they upgraded and um, the wiring so like these is already in here behind one of these ends but yeah on, on all that so you don't have to do anything else another thing I did just so you guys know uh, I never had a heated steering wheel 
on my car when I got this, which was a bugger. I really hate that. I really wanted to get a, a heated steering wheel. And the game, those powerful UK guys, um, I showed a video where they, they've done it. And uh, wasn't, it was on an Evoque. It wasn't on an Evoque Sport, but same principle. I had to get this differently. I've got the heated steering wheel. Uh, managed to get the heated steering wheel somewhere else. Um, uh, bought this again. I think it was eBay. Uh, but mine hasn't got the um, uh, distance for the auto um, cruise uh, in order to set distance. My one, unfortunately, hasn't got that one. I was tempted to try one that has it and see if it works in case it's built into the system. But maybe another time. Um, but uh, yeah, I managed to get this thing. Had a bit of a result as well. We even came with the aluminium paddles. Um, so very happy about that. Behind here, there's a um, uh, what do they call that? A uh, clock uh, uh, squib. And there's a squib that you need to find that has like two pins to convert this one to a heated steering wheel version. Uh, and those two pins are literally just the, the, the difference between the squib that's already in here, or the, was originally in here, which didn't have those pins, to one that has pins just so you can add the, the heating element to the steering wheel. So that's another upgrade I've done in this car. Um, I'll as I go along as I move out the car I can probably show you some other little things I've done in the car some of them thanks to uh, uh, Powerful UK um, as well um, where I've even changed the rear lights uh, to the newer 2018 plus model with the sweeping uh, uh, indicators and the same on the mirrors as well they're, they're sweeping as well which I did buy off Powerful UK um, another little trick if you've got a ring alarm at home and you're worried about your car getting stolen, I mean, I've got all tracker and stuff on this, I'm cleaning the descriptions, I'm not too bored. But um, just so I get an alert, funny, this is wireless ring alarm. At night time, I've got a steering wheel lock just as a deterrent to put on here, uh, which, uh, you know, you might have seen uh, somewhere where these are one of the top 10 cars to be stolen. Um, and um, so I've got the tracker, you know, subscription on this, uh, but I do put a steering wheel lock on here. Just a little deterrent and even peace of mind so i can call the police to a wave just in case or so i get alerted uh, and I, if i don't wake up from the uh, phone call from the tracker system i've a wireless um pir in my car and at night time i literally just leave it here and my home alarm picks up so if someone does break into my car not technically my home alarm will go off which will definitely wake me up because my phone might be on silent because you know these iphones have a uh, silent mode where you know you, if you go to bed at whatever time and um it automatically goes into silence so to avoid that uh for me missing the phone call from the people uh who are monitoring the car i decided just um get an extra pir from my um, home alarm and uh my home alarm as well you can set it to automatically set up um, go go in um, uh, home mode and away mode which is another thing which ring have not done done on there so oh my god i'm sending loads of people stuff here today aren't i um but nice little trick just peace of mind uh, if you want to do the same thing, uh, you know, with your what alarm, if you have a home alarm and wireless as well. But um, anyway, enough fluffing on. Let me get to the next step, which is getting this cable across. So I need to go and get my socket set to take that off. So to take this off, just a small little screwdriver, just pop it off uh, on there. And I'll get my socket set and continue the journey for the cabling. But in reality, there's no reason why I can't put this back together again um, and put that back in. Okay, back again. All right, um, I've managed to, I mean, this is easy to put back in. Um, because you've got an extra length of cable, I hid it this side. So the original cable on the, the head in here in order to push this back up. A little bit tricky in a way, but as long as you push the head of the extension top in behind here, then that clips back in and that just literally pushes back in. And I've managed, to, like I said, I can actually connect it up. So I've got the camera, connected it's all working plugged in so just so i could set up the app um the app comes uh, the, there's this qr code in one of these um to download from the land rover obviously the app store uh, or google store or whatever and very simple to set up and i end up putting uh it, the camera sort of there a little bit more to the left um in the picture sort of showed it to the right but i saw someone saying about it catches the camera the mirror actually catches a little bit this so hence why I moved it that way. And what I wish I'd done actually, a bit late now, maybe move this a little bit higher. You can actually move this so you actually don't see any cable um, uh, and it should be fine. 
um, and you but the black sort of I think is there uh, 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 to stop uh, the sun reflecting too much on the, on the heat so it reflects the heat there's like a, a base plate a black sticky one which you got on first in fact this is easy quite to take off because you can actually slide this up there's a button here just so you know you can slide the camera off and um but yeah so you've got this black adhesive which goes on first i've actually used the dotted lines to keep it straight along here so if you're clever enough you can actually count say one two three or whatever and just use as long as the dotted lines are straight it gives you a little bit extra uh, and it actually goes over a little bit here from the um uh the front of the, you know from this bit and I, I, like I, said, I think this just help it from the sun and then this sticks on afterwards this little bit and then as you can see the camera can slide on and off but yeah now and off the side i just wish maybe i moved up a little bit more never mind not the end of the world and it works as you can see the light comes on connect to the wi-fi uh i had to feed obviously this cable over and push it out here and uh i'm now going to start to feed it here now there is a video two videos online i found on youtube one of the Range Rover Sport is a 2008 model, young, uh, nice and German. But he had, well, like I said, one with a torque screw uh, to take um, the screw at the top, which I showed you before, which is that obviously here you clip this off, and then inside there, the, the torque screw. My one doesn't have a torque screw, mine has uh, a nut uh, one with the socket, so I don't know why, on this one. And then, uh, then I had trouble, trouble pulling this off. On his video, he made it look so simple. So I started searching another video. And again, my uh, the guys I can recommend at UK, Powerful UK, um, they have one, but it's an Evoke, but it looks exactly the same uh, uh, setup. Uh, where, uh, obviously, same apart with the square one on here. And they already had one off. And what you've got at the back is basically there's the, the screw for the top bit. Here's a clip. And you've got this vent bit, and I started playing around before I saw the video. I actually took the vent bit off here, thinking, well, maybe there's something behind the vent bit, but there isn't. So don't, don't take that off. Um, I'm gonna fix mine, put it back on. Oh, put this somewhere. Oh, here it is. Yeah, don't, don't, don't take that off. Don't, don't you do. I mean, it came off easily enough. I'm just gonna clip that back on after this. Uh, and um, there we have that uh, a pillow. Uh, so we can start putting the cable down, and I now need to look at how to get it down and take the pillow off down there i know that clicks off so i want to carry on but this i think was the tricky part but it just needs a really good yank uh, in order to take that clip off out of the hole um just so you know so um just yeah give it a good old yank and that comes off in, in one piece hopefully if you don't break yours and there's obviously there's your airbag so to touch it uh, you know and um job done uh, a short video I've managed to obviously push the cable all the way up here and pull it round this corner so it sort of holds it and then I fed it behind here I uh, actually took this little bit of tape off back to put it behind the tape just so that holds it extra in place do apply cable ties of which there you go I've got a couple of cable ties as per the, the drawing uh, to cut them, cut them flush I've got flush cutters which is a pet hate of mine when people use like normal cutters and leave it sharp so you can cut yourself or anything so yeah nice pair of flush cutters and it's all there in the diagram and i've put a couple in there and that's that stage done and now to feed it down and now to feed it down obviously down through the trim and that bit uh so you just take your time it's one of those sort of things it's getting dark i suppose it started a little bit later i don't think you can appreciate it but it's uh it's quite, uh, what time is it? Uh, I don't know if, uh, it's a proper time, but it's uh, probably about four o'clock in the uh, evening, obviously winter, and it's getting dark. And, and um, but yeah, you, you just take your time and um, do a nice job, basically. Uh, so that's part of the trigger bit, taking that off. That's pretty straightforward. And I'm, I'm, from this, I'm guessing the bit at the back, and uh, we'll do the rear camera um, and getting that cable through to the, uh, um lifting boot and um, there's a bit of work involved there which you have to take the spoiler off which i will do um to do it right um yeah. okay getting there you can see the torch is coming on now because it is getting dark outside um i've put this all back together uh it's easier it makes life easier obviously so you take this off uh the rubber seal i've managed to put this back on so what you do line it up and then just here just give it a bit of a bang and you hear it clip in and then you know that's in properly then but the, obviously the reverse just put the, put the screw back in whichever screw you got um, with the 
shock it like mine or talks and um and there you go uh, as you that just clipped back in that would be clean enough and the cable's nicely tied in there the cable comes down here now the rest of the cable is actually hidden behind here and around this thing so you don't have to get this off or anything just this bit here and you can actually easily push the cable and you can see it's coming down here uh, I took this trim off again with this trim there there it's sort of um there's, wait, let me show you and you can work it out it's easy I've had to take this off before um there's one clip here so that sort of pulls out towards you and then these slide in at the bottom here you see so you need to sort of pull it uh from there you need to put it that way towards you uh in order to get that out um because I've had these out before uh probably like this for other videos um so I'm gonna take this off my plan now um so I'll meet you when I get to the back so I'm basically this clicks off that way again that then can lift off um and I'm gonna hide the cable uh, all underneath and then the same on this side I'll pull that off pull this side off and then that can go all trim underneath behind here in order to get behind a couple of things I want to show you before forget uh also from powerful uk uh they don't they do these ones anymore unfortunately or well, fortunately for me so it's a bit more expensive these like a smoked uh one rather than the red so this is um the 2018 plus model but on the 2017 plate even though it's not 2017 I that plate. <laughs> yes that was intended pun and uh and um yeah this is the smoke screen version so i don't think they do anymore um but it has the, the sweeping indicators uh, which the originally this car didn't come with uh, so that's a little upgrade also got this made that turned up from the green to black changed to black lettering got this also from powerful uk that was chrome changed it black changed that to black and i blacked out oh another thing from powerful uk i got was the fog lights um they were normally red um they look like they're the uh, the black version and it comes with like a red bulb instead so i've done that on my car all from powerful uk um and uh, also from powerful uk but you can't see it that they have a video uh changed the, the top they showed me how to do this and they've got a nice video to show you how to do that change this as well easy little upgrades i was going to change them but I've, I've, you buy them second hand off ebay the clips are already broken there's no way to take that off unless you break the clips so if you get them second hand you ain't going to put them back on but uh, just so you know i found that the hard way um Unfortunately, if you want to change them to look like the new version, you have to change the wing as well as the bumper. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. <laughs> uh, that's my car says, bollocks. So, yeah. Right, I'm going to pack on and I'll get back to you once I get to this stage because you need to take this uh, uh, off, this uh, spoiler off. And there is a video, nice video on Powerful UK who the guys there obviously know their stuff uh, and I've learned a lot from them I'm glad to say and they're probably happy to hear so that will come off in order to get the cable uh, it's open up uh, here uh, I mean this is what I did the first time I've got a, 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 a little bit of this now this is a, the aftermarket one which I got which obviously I, I fed through through here and back and, and used one of those uh um what do you call it those little taps um fuse splitters uh in there behind in order to get this one working but i i remember trying to get through here it's, it's a bitch to get through here uh when i originally wanted to do it but i'm going to do it to turn to do it this time uh where i'm going to have to take the spoil off to get to that to get the cable up and do it properly and then somehow you've got to drill i can't remember where you drill a hole into here 15 mil hole into here so that's the plan and then um, uh, to be able to get the, the or somewhere here anyway, wherever they show me in order to get the cable from here to the new uh, camera position. I'll have to take that off and clean that before I put the new camera on. Um, but I'm gonna, I know someone else done something similar to this on another video where, um, yeah, they had trouble, but I'm, I'm gonna do it the right way uh, in order to get through here and let you know how simple or easy it is um, by taking this off here, I believe you have to clip these off. There you go, look, oh, bingo. Oh, how easy is that? To get the spoiler off there. And uh, one handed, that's how easy it is to do there. Filthy car, I might give them a clean as well. Um, and 
Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Some catch up. Uh, I've got to this stage where I've now put this all back together. So, yeah, like I said, the two clips there, so that will pull out, and then the, the pin in there. I have a replacement just in case you break it. It's worth getting some of these spares as a replacement because I did actually break the other ones as it came off. Um, so that's easy to slide back on. They're cheap enough um, to go back in and that slid back in. Uh, um, so that comes off first. Then this one as well, it's got the similar metal clips as this has. So you actually lift this bit up have, um, in order to lift this like, clip here that comes up. You don't have to take the whole thing off, you just need to loosen up this side and do the same on the other side to feed the cable through. Bit of a bugger, but you, if you get this up and the other side up, you can just about feed, push it through and get it around the other one. If there's two people doing it, probably a lot easier. Or one pushes the cable through this side, someone can grab it on the other side. I would do it on my own, and like I said, this, this is simple. This pulls up. The cable of the wiring plug is at this end, just so you're aware. So this end, it might be easier to pull up and it will just click, 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 click off with the clips in there so it lifts up they're like metal clips so that's now back together uh on um on this side uh so yes uh got to get car cleaned. um but yeah so we've done this and the other thing i didn't show you is to make sure this this is carpet so it's at the, uh, this side is carpet um this is like white plastic from under from this side so they're the metal clips that go in uh, and but it just, just feed it under the carpet to come out the other side so the tread is actually here so the tread is actually not on the cable so if you imagine the cables behind along this side basically not underneath the trim as per this step right what am i doing next i'm doing next oh, i've already done that bit oh i've got to sit down i'm lying that's why like that. like that. i uh, Oh, I've lost where I am. Anyway, it's simple. That, that's, the bit, that's, the bit, that's the beginning. Ah, right, I've gone past this. Here we go. Um, right, the tricky bits. Right, uh, I need to find the bits. Anyway, ignore me. I'm flapping. What I can normally do is probably on the other side of here. Uh, what is on that side? Fed that through. So what I'm going to do next is continue feeding the cable. Like I said, I've got this out, pulled out here. I'm going to put it in my head, actually you can see the, so I'm going to put it, the cable behind this side in order to then just get it up and I've got to see how from here I've got to find the piece of paper, I can't remember if it comes up now this way, I'll, I'll have to have a look and um, check on that and come back to you. Okay, back again, some preparation work to your way off after getting the cable underneath here, I've prepared they have to take the um, trim off. I found the route. It's, it's, it is on here. If you find the paperwork, uh, you can sort of work it out coming up at this pillar and then along the top. Um, which basically means it's up here, taking the seal off again. And I've had to take. Oh, look, that's another broken one. I just realised. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to replace that one. That, that obviously was pinned in there. So, uh, I didn't wonder why that came off quite easy. It looks like that was already broken. So that, you can see, just slides off. Uh, so um, I'll put one of them back in uh, just before the right time. Uh, I'm not sure I'm not the first or the last person to have done work on their car in the middle of the night. Because they love their car so much. So, there you go. More the dodgy camera work. Um, there we go, so that way I don't forget if I do it now rather than later, and that just slides in there. That's ready to go back on after. Uh, 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 and I've already taken off the other side. Same principle as at the beginning of the video with the trim, where uh, clip that clip that off, and behind you'll have a, either a hex screw or in my case a socket. Which, um, yeah, and now I can finish feeding that through. So by next stage, same thing. I'll be able to get the cable in here, and I'm guessing 
this is where you can come underneath here and uh and i did try before but i didn't take this off not realizing about taking that off didn't didn't occur to me the first time but now i know i'm going to give it a try um so yeah so that's the next stage same thing on the back here panel here we go you can see just got the clips four clips and you've got that bit there again with the screw which you take off clip it off and uh, the hex screw or socket the same and uh, it literally just clips off very simple that was a lot easier than the one at the front to be honest and this one there was no um one of those plastic clips so there you go all right so i'm getting there 